sure. you've done all this while having like your mind just totally on an infant and a child. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. I didn't realize that. But I mean, honestly, it's kind of, um, like I said, it, it's been something that has helped me because as many moms might tell you, you know, you there is a, some sort of feeling of isolation, you know, because, you know, initially you have a lot of people that are around you when you have your baby, but then, you know, things kind of get quiet. And um, if you are home with your child, if you're a stay-at-home mom or, you know, majority of the time home with them, you know, that can be a little isolating. And especially now, there's not a lot of socializing. So yeah. this has been an outlet to where I can, like I said, just stay positive and hold myself accountable and all of those things. Or even just share a bad day and, and, and know that someone else has had been there, done that, and is rooting you on. You know, that, that kind of support is... It's, it's what we all need that about a bad day because your your yeah. your page is so inspirational and so positive like that's oh, the first thing you. that jumps out is it's like it's so motivational i mean a lot of the yeah. keto stories i feel that way about but like i think because you use motivational you know boxes like you also your layout is beautiful so i think okay. like you're welcome the combination of that is like this really bright um you know just the main the main takeaway is like it's a super bright uplifting feel to it sure. so I kind of want to ask you how do you how do you do that you know how do you stay positive and like what's your why for doing everything I mean, I mean how do I stay positive it's just it's intentional right I mean I think and that wasn't always the case you know I suffered from anxiety depression and even you know I won't talk about it too much but I at one point attempted my own life and that was mm -hmm. you know all of 22 or 23 so I've been in that dark place and I know the other side. It's not like I wake up and say every day is a great day, but over time I've collected tools um, to help me stay in the frame of mind. That's really just going to keep me happy. Um, so it's intentional. You know, it's not something that you're just going to walk around one day and bump into happy and there you right. go. You're good. You know, yeah. it is something that's practiced and, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. Um, I'll say it's like one of those, it's like, it's like if you're looking, you know, when you're, when you decide you're going to get a certain car and then all of a sudden you see that car everywhere, you know, you, you can find what you're looking for. So if right. you're, if you're intentionally look, trying to look for the positive, you're going to see that more and more and the, on, the, on the flip side of that, you, you know, you can stay, you can stay stuck and you can see the negative and you can think that everything is always wrong happening to you. But, there's no purpose in that. There's no, there's no joy in that. Um, and I have lost some people, you know, sh sh and too soon, I'll say. So that was impactful, you know, because nothing is promised and uh, you just have to really own your life, you know, whatever that means to you, just find your joy and really embrace it. I can't hold on to 